gymnastics on the ball. She's such a solid athlete. Gonna be doing your Tenko double full. <laughs> Needs to work on see where she could fit into that team in particular on this event. Well, Kelly told us that she's showing some upgrades. Direct connect, church to pack. She's got some big skills in this routine and still working on the details. That's that church to pack connection. She hasn't competed it. They were just going to see how it goes, and I think it's going pretty well. First time both in competition. The question was, can she do it under pressure? And I think the answer is uh, yes. No. She could not have done that any better. Look. to see heard only great things about her during training Kelly Hill said she's been working extremely hard the the high performance team at USA Gymnastics can't say enough great things about how just focused and determined and hardworking she has been over the last few months clean double double man I'm a huge Kayla fan to your point just hard worker comes in every day. She even calls Kelly Hill for extra work and her coach Kelly Hill was like, oh, whenever she asks me to come in on a Saturday, I just really have to take a deep breath because I don't want to go, but because she wants to go and put the extra work in, I'm there for her. Kayla 
after taking a year off from competing at the University of Florida this year, where she competed last year, just to train for the Olympic Games this summer, give it everything she's got, and then we'll be back at Florida next year. And there's this age-old question on, does college help elite? Does elite help college? Do they help each other? I'm Langston and I'm back on my channel, Gemlandia. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video and watching me rescore Kayla DiCello and her winter cup routines. And listen, I want to say that her vault bars and floor weren't dramatically off. There were a couple of things that could have been taken. You know, realistically, I'm not no ruthless ass hoe. Like, I try to have some kind of, you get what I'm saying, like some kind of moral compass. Like, I'm not just going to go crazy. I'm going to go with like really obvious type stuff. And what can also be seen from certain angles. So, you know, realistically, I understand how they got her vault bars in floor score. I think bars a little bit too much. A lot of um, adjustments on bars, I think the international judges would easily see, which, you know, you saw me take. I know y'all was like, damn, you clear her on beam, Langston. Like, and listen, I didn't want to have to do her like that, but it's like the code, the code was coding, like the deductions was deduction. And I kind of fell back because it's like, oh, shit, like I'm really going off. And it's like, I'm not, like, there's things on Beam that I was actually a little bit lenient on. And I'm like, yo. So, you know, you kind of see how it's really easy to like really tense someone to death. Like her floor does a really good job of minimizing deductions. I do want to say on floor, it is arguable that she could have lost, you know, maybe another 10th for another artistry deduction, in particular being in sync with the music. I thought that the artistry deductions I gave her enough was already too much. You know, sometimes they'd be trying to go crazy. I also think that the double pike, um, they could have took bent knees on that, but I don't think it was really obvious. So I, I didn't really take it. On floor, some, I mean, on beam, some of her connections were really questionable. Like her switch half to back handstand was questionable. Her front aerial to split jump was a questionable slow connection. But I feel like it would have been a little bit like just off the wall to take that. Like you saw me do that in my last judging of the beam finals. I was like, I'm not going to just go crazy on slow connections unless they're like really obvious. So yeah, that's it for the most part. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Make sure to have a nice day, you guys. Goodbye.